Hey there guys, um, thanks 564 and this continues to follow Let's Play of Encased and we are here in the laboratory so why don't we go ahead back to that morgue location and check out what we can check out. Now let's just go. It should be safe here unless they respond, I, but I don't think so. Nothing ever have responded yet, so they probably don't. Where's Yuko? Or oh, Yoko. Keep calling her Yuko for some reason. <laughs> because I read it that the first like that the first time, right? So uh, what is that? Freezing. Oh. Well, let's go and uh and check those morgue stalls. Or freezers, right? Empty, empty, inside the body of a large dark skinned man dressed in a clean blue shirt, okay. I don't remember actually the description of the guy, so there's a warning placard on the door. When you open it, you see a familiar face staring right at you, you recognize this corpse, it's uh, Louis Smith the one who attacked you in the ventilation system. His wide open eyes are still flashing white. His contorted mouth seems like it's trying to tell you something. Well, that was unpleasant. <laughs> he also did some things for charity and stuff. Our child on the uh, steel shelf. Old child. Again. Empty. Empty. There's a body on it, head toward you. You, it's a white man with wide open eyes. Cyrus have gone opaque. But you can make out white around the pupils. They seem to be glowing lightly. Okay. One of those infected people. Uh, a deceased female female cadaver in blue wing jumpsuit is lying on the gurney. You know, it is barely. This girl line drop of yellow liquid on her chin, it's difficult to say what it could be. Okay. Uh, you check the cold rooms of the morgue, none of the people lying in the morgue look like Leighton Langley. Okay then. Uh, come on, what, where are you going? Oh. Let's get out of here. Off we go. I also wish when you like would click on the elevator, it would allow you to go out outside onto the map right away instead of going to the go going to the hall maybe it actually does i need to check it actually uh because i'm not sure but i don't think it does let's see oh yeah it's only like only what's inside the facility we need hole, right? Yeah. Floor level minus one. And get out. Pull the elevator to surface. And off we go. Hopefully there will not be another attack here, because that's just annoying. And off we go over here. I can't like I can't put myself into one of those, but I don't, don't think they are meant for traveling on 
on the map. Right? Okay. Pillage Caravan, I'm assuming, first, and then Kaleidoscope, because it'll probably be easier to, to reach there. Fine. Let's, let's go to Pillage Caravan first, then we'll go to Kaleidoscope, and then back to Magellan, and then to Junked Out Slums. To the... Uh, uh, before we... Should I... Should I have a rest here? Eh, we're not that fatigued. We're, we'll be fine. Right? What can possibly go wrong with the uh, village caravan? Hmm. Okay, who's that? Did we notice that, or what did we notice? There was some sort of dude there just a second ago. Is he moving? Your mama? Pepper? May we can probably talk to them. There's some dude trying to open some things. Five cents. I mean, if, if th something we can kill him. I don't think it will be, like, that big of a deal. Found a group of fops who took the relic not far from the lo looted caravan. Bear. Gasoline soaked footprints lead you to a small camp that looks more like a garbage dump. A pair of cargo containers, apparently stolen from a caravan, have been turned upside down and transformed into huts with canopies. Some dirty, odd looking vagabonds resembling fops are hanging around. A hefty guy with a flamethrower walks over with long strides. The rest follow him, one of the tramps galloping on all fours. If he comes so close, you're forced to take a couple of steps back. A wave of heat is washing off the fop, either from him or the red-hot barrel of the flamethrower. A bright red sack with slits for eyes covers his head. A green tail sticks out from the top of the mask. I'm Pepper, yo, and we like to light it up. And so will you, if you want to live. Yeah, he adds, weightily. The slit's gaze is unfriendly. Crump clenches his fists and takes a threatening step forward. Hey, watch your mouth. Start threatening me, and I'll remind you of your place. Hmm. Should we? Or should we just fight them? Yeah, let's see what, what this brings us. Calm the orange down. No need to escalate the situation. Grinning his teeth, your companion steps back and lowers his meaty fists. You think Buddha would approve of your toothless, peace-loving bullshit? Sometimes, helping people means knocking some sense into them. Hmm. I explained that they've got a part you need very much. The fops turn out to be very understanding. One of them, wearing a necklace of coins, pats your head sympathetically. You really need it, huh? Asks Pepper. Hmm. Complain that you cannot light it up without this thing? Your response infuriates him. Pepper turns to face the desert and begins shooting flames at the horizon. Bitch! Fucking bitch! Yo, shit, shit, shit! Why is the world shitty like that? People just want to light it up! Fuck! He angrily kicks an empty tin can. The fop on all fours rolls onto his back and begins to kick his feet and screech. The chief fop straightens his mask and tells you, Damn, you litter up fine, yo. Bug, give your hummer to that employee. The fop on all fours pulls a strange relic out from somewhere under his clothes. Then rolls on his back and starts to jerk his limbs and screech, but this time in complete silence. Tell him you're lit, yo, <laughs> and be on your way. Well, Crump didn't like it, but Crump likes me quite a bit, so don't think it matters all that much. Crump, yeah, 65. 
there are some containers. I, I think I can... Oh, it's blocked. Okay. By this guy probably, right? Huh. I can also go there. It was a thing there as well. Mm, we can sell it. Is there anything here? No. Can we really not do anything with that container because there is this dude over here? Yeah, it says way blocked. Okay, fine. There was a there was a container over here. Yes, there is. So let's let's go over here. Make sure there's nothing here. Okay. Does it look like it? Detach them. Throw a bolt. And oh shit! What is that? Hmm. Okay. One of those kits is useful. Nothing else. And go back in. Okay. That was easier than expected. I was expecting there to be a huge fight, but no. Doesn't seem like there will be. Before we go get into Kaleidoscope, I think we'll I will uh, set up camp and rest a little bit. Because we'll be tired too. The abandoned collector from time to time from the times of the first expansion appears lifeless at first. But only at first, the quick fading echo leads you to the nearest tunnel. Looking inside you see several dim figures in the distance. Look through binocular, your eyes binocular and bring them to image to focus. Several rats are messing around among the gnawed bones of some animals, so though they do not look menacing, you must not underestimate them. A pack of rats is quite capable of to handle lonely traveler. Well, let's just sneak past them. I don't think I'm that interested in rats. Okay, before we go in, let's camp. We'll sleep. Probably till night. Uh, that would be fine. Do we need to eat anything? Maybe a little bit. I still have fatigue. I was that fatigued, huh? Mm, where's the food? How much water do we need? 240. I think this will be good enough. Okay, let's get out. Oh. Minus to growth, minus to deafness, that's probably not great. What is that, by the way? Another charisma minus two. Well, I don't think we'll be talking much in Kaleidos Cup here. All things considered, how all the other bunkers were. I don't think... Ooh, yeah. Definitely not talking to anybody here. Bunker entrance. Some dead people here. At least it doesn't look like it happened all that long time ago. So maybe there's somebody still alive there? There's a blood spot over here? Hmm. Well, I guess we get closer and we just start blasting. Like hell! I've got a few spare kilos of explosives right here! You're a maniac, you know that? Alright, plant the charge. Take cover, everybody! Okay, let them let them try. Or will they try? I don't think they will. It's okay then. Um, 
You go get here. You get over there. There's this person over here. I'm afraid that she will be actually start. Uh, crump. Get a little bit closer. And you. Let's open up on this one, I'm thinking. Let's start with a precise shot. Oh, and we can double tap her again. Yeah, that will leave me with one more attack here. Cool. Take these creeps downtown, bros. What are you doing? <sighs> he did something. Did he, like, teleport there or something like that? I don't think it would have helped him. How is he uh, in terms of resistances? There's a lot of energy resistance. Pretty low heat resistance. Let's high temperature shot him. And then you just do a regular shot. Okay. What's wrong with you, huh? Huh? He doesn't she doesn't need have some sort of a gun, but it's not as long a range as I thought it would be. It looks also has have has like some sort of a scope on it. So there is that. Okay. Oh, not enough ammo, right. Let's reload. And... Dead, Do we wanna shoot her? It's already only 14% chance. Okay, let's finish this guy off instead. Get Crump over here. Was there someone else here? Yes, but he, he's not moving. Hamster. Okay, hamster. Oh, there's... There look like there's a pipe there. Maybe we can get through there. Instead. Hmm. Let's headbutt her. So that she would be stunned. And then we'll just take three shots at her. Okay, good. Take these creeps downtown, bros. I'll smack you up. Was she yelling for someone or Okay, let's just kill her. Oh, should have reloaded. Oh yeah, he does teleport. It, it caused him a little bit of a fatigue though. But that's okay. I wonder what the skull beneath them indicate. It's probably the their level or level of danger they present or something like that. Mm. Oh, come on, really? You're dead, asshole. Definitely needs to get better handling of her weapon. That's for sure. Uh, three attacks and one punch, one jab, right? I love how tap jab. I'm not even calling it attack for some reason. Okay, let's see what they have. They're also all named, which is interesting. But it does look like they have anything useful. Let's loot around the place first. I think we can scan this guy. Really? Probably I missed there. I wonder if I can scan this guy. No. There's a large container some. Oh, right on top. Okay. Okay, radiation. Let's save here. I'm Fairly certain there might be something in here. Yep. Uh, wait, we don't want to go in there yet. But we will probably a little bit later, though. Before we go, we... Okay. We should most likely do uh, Red X on us. I wonder if she can get radiation. Oh, what is this? Cloaking device. Okay. Red, yep. Mercury.
Let's scan this dude. Bella Sharp. She doesn't look like Bella. Oh, do we need um, muscles? Yes, we need muscles here. Well, let's muscle this up. Okay, nothing much. I can also try to open the door, because I have the, uh, the carriers, right? Where is that black wing? Okay. Well, uh, let's just drop it here. And make sure these guys will run through. Oh, come on. Come on, move it. Oh, cool. This is third of those of those uh, dog tags that I found there's an ammunition box Winston Sin it probably will be revealed later right who probably we can give it to someone most likely when the quarantine will lift that's probably what's going on all this time I thought that this Quarantine was in Magellan Station, but no, it most likely is inside the... Well, not most likely, it's in the city, right? And it's a completely different area from Magellan Station, which I didn't realize. Okay. There's some more of them here. I probably also will need to go up here. Yeah, there's a chest there. Might be something else here as well. Okay, let's go check out this White Wing employee. And a munition box. This will last forever, like an hour. I need to be more careful what I eat. <laughs> When will I get the car, I wonder? So far I don't think I had... Well, maybe I could have like stolen that car from that dude in that random encounter, right? Which From which I stole that... Uh, band that gives me psyche if my companions die? Really? Oh, I already looted it. Oh, and I already looted that. Okay, I'm moving fast. Faster than my... Than my, than my mind, I guess. <laughs> I really forgot that I've been here. For some reason. Okay, can we open these bunker doors? Call the elevator. Hear a muffled click from the outside and the, of the door, but nothing happens. Okay, then. We're going through the air duct. But, considering there's radiation here, let's get those arrows. Can she get radiated, I wonder? Yes, she can. Which is... I mean... Maybe not that odd, but at the same time a little bit odd. Right. No, that's not it. Which one was it? This one. Right. For how long? Probably need to buy a little bit more of those. Um, can she not consume it? I guess she can't. Okay. Still keeps getting it. So, 
so how can I protect her from radiation then? Ooh, there's someone here. Okay, that's just a roach. Well, this is a pretty big bunker. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can see. What is this device? Teleportation device. Hmm. Where does it go? Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, hmm. your life will be forfeit. Remember, our honest work. Well, I guess we might as well try. World, a better place. It probably will get me to some other location in, within the facility, right? Uh, maybe over here somewhere? But then. I still cannot get out of here. Can I? There's another teleportation devices. Okay. How do I get out of here though? Like how do I get over here? I don't know. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. Does to be any way to get up here? Hmm. Maybe I can get through like one of those vents or something. I'm assuming this one will lead me to here, right? Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's uh, maybe get everybody into one place. Okay, at least she didn't get irradiated, Moodlet. Which is weird that she can take other forms of radiation. Uh, let's go into this one. It um, transported me back. Okay, how about we save before we go into any one of those? Okay. I'm okay with going to here. And probably from one of these, I can actually get to some location, right? Let's start with this one. Uh, no. How about we just load? Because it will just take me, I think, longer to get to where we are than to just load. Okay, this leads me to... Uh, you go... go in there. You, buddy. Get in there as well. And get, I guess, closer to the cockroaches. Ow. Well, let's start with that night one. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. What? Let's go with first precise shot. Regular shot. And crumb. It's just... Go ham on this guy. 
Oh, come on. This is clearly not 35% chance, isn't it? It's a lot more, I feel like. Seventy-three. Okay. Not bad. It was a little bit wasted, but I'll take it, I guess. And do this. Do I want to do anything fancy here? What is this? Attacks the target within 10 meter rushes, the target loses 2 AP for 2 rounds. Eh, not, not necessary right now, I don't think. Okay. So, what do we have here? Um, let's let's first explore this area. Maybe you can go. No, we can't. I don't. I don't think this one will be available either. Fine. Let's let's start with this one. There are four of them. Like they have to lead somewhere. Yeah, that just leads me to where I started. Let's not do this. We need to probably use one of them. Each one of them. Before I actually load, I'll probably the last three, I have three people, I'll use one on each. Okay, this leads to the same location. Which is a little bit odd. Why do we have like two of them lead to the same location? Okay, that's that's what we need. And I think that's exactly where we'll go. I wonder if I can actually get out of here from using elevator instead of uh, going back through the uh, through the thing. I guess we'll find out, right? Okay. Can we scan this one? Yes, we can. Oh, there's a teleportation device right here. Okay. You know what? Uh, what I'll do is I think I'll make a cut here and we'll just explore this area in the next episode while I'll probably loot all of this off screen because there does seem to be a decent amount of loot here. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and goodbye!